All right. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my second Materium Fixes Warhammer. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the last one, the whole point of this video series is to take a unit or units in the game of Warhammer that isn't quite good enough to match up with how it's represented into the fluff and come up with some homebrew rules to make it more appropriate to what it should be. Uh, today I'm going to be tackling the Rune Smith, the Rune Lord, and the Anvil of Doom from the Dwarf Army. Um, first thing, I, I, this is an issue I know that's a soft spot for many because the Anvil of Doom was so good last edition and they basically beat it to death with a nerf hammer. Um, so I'll go ahead and say my plans for it aren't going to make it as good and sort of as abusive as it used to be, but I think it really, what I've come up with will give the dwarves kind of some magic potential and, and let them compete in that phase of the game. Um, but you can't really talk about the Anvil Doom without focusing first on the Rune Smith and the Rune Lords. These guys, really, if you look at the fluff, are the equivalent of something like the Empire Warrior Priests. They are a sort of religious and spiritual center for the dwarves. And I think the biggest miss is by not giving them some sort of bound spells. So what I would actually suggest is that you take the three spells that the Anvil of Doom has currently, and you give those to the Rune Lord and the Rune Priest as bound spells. Um, three up to cast, just or three, three, four, five up to cast just like they are, and give the Rune Lord a plus one to cast those spells. Very simple, very easy, and gives them a little bit more punch, so it's not just, oh, this guy's just here to give my unit uh, armor piercing and be a dispel scroll caddy. So, But then that leaves the question of what we do with the Anvil of Doom itself. Very simple, the Anvil of Doom is the opportunity for dwarves to be able to compete in the magic phase. So what I recommend is that keep the point cost of the Anvil of Doom the same, but instead of the three crappy spells, um, what it does is it allows the Rune Lord on it to be a level four mage, a level four wizard, who can generate his spells from either the rune of or the lore of fire or the lore of metal and has to declare how many of his four spells he'll generate from each lore before rolling i think with the lores of fire and metal it stays very true to the fluff what it is it's, it's a magical anvil um so you have some some opportunity for uh the ability to have some magic missiles to get some of the, the more buff spells from fire and from uh, the lore of metal. And I think all around, they're, they're good lures for the dwarves to have. And being able to participate in the magic phase is a big deal. Also, it kind of buffs certain things like the Banner of Valia which gives a plus two to dispel attempts. So it actually would give the dwarves, if you're willing to spend those kind of points on it, the opportunity to have a plus six to dispel, which can help sort of bring back their, their dispel mastery. Um, now the thing to remember that if you do take the Anvil of Doom, because it turns the, the war or the Rune Lord into a wizard, you would lose the general plus two to dispel across the army. So it can be a little bit of a gamble there, but I think most Dwarf players would agree it's definitely worth it to make the Anvil of Doom something worthwhile. Um, so those are my general thoughts. Uh, other than that, I don't really think those three pieces need to be fixed, but this way you can have the Dwarves participate in the magic phase and make use of what is a very good... Uh, model in the Anvil of Doom. Oh, and also I would get rid of that whole thing with the Anvil of Doom where it can't use its powers if 
it moves because that's stupid. Um, <laughs> but it would be immaterial because all the powers would be in the Ruben Priest anyway, uh, in the form of the spells. But uh, that's that's my thoughts on it, my wrap-up. You guys seem to really like the last one I did on the, the Knights. So I figured I would go ahead with this one and uh, see everyone's thoughts on the dwarves and their magic phase. <laughs> um, so please leave comments below. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye.